guys, hey guys, hey guys, this is Vaughn. Welcome back to Well Done, episode 50. Ooh, yay. Um, I'm kind of in a weird place right now, but I wanted to show you this ridiculousness. Look at this. Can you see these iron golems? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Oh, there's one over there. Ten. Ten iron golems. I guess they just... I, I've... There was one, like, right where those, that block of dirt is. He, and he was almost about to fall off. And I moved him. And I put that dirt up. I'm hoping that will stop it. But... Holy cow. It's ridiculous. I... I know that this happens. Like, I'm aware of it. I've seen it happening in many other people's videos, but I didn't realize that it was happening right here. <laughs> I guess they just drop in there, and then the village spawns another one, and they keep dropping in there. Because I've certainly not built ten iron golems. Insanity. So what I wanted to do today, uh, I haven't been on in a few days, because I was at a convention in Los Angeles called Gallifrey One. I had mentioned it previously. It was a It's a Doctor Who convention. I've been going for a couple of years. And I've, I'm pretty into, like, the cosplay scene, and so I did some panels and stuff, so I thought I would talk a little bit about that. But first, I wanted to show you some little weird thing that I did uh, before I left. Didn't get a chance to record it, but last episode, I made a room and I covered it in pumpkins, and I was trying to see if mobs would spawn on it. I, I got inconclusive results, so what I decided to do today well, yesterday, is I went over to this little island that's got some villagers on it, and this little island over here, which had a tree on it, which no longer does, and as you can see, I covered it with pumpkins. I uh, just removed all the dirt and sand and just put down an entire platform of pumpkins, and I figured that this was far enough away from stuff that I could pretty much tell if stuff would spawn on it or not. And I went down, uh, there's a little hole, you can probably see it right there, which has a ladder that leads down to a cave system, and I lit up the, basically the surrounding areas directly underneath here. Not enough to really do anything, but it, between that area and this area, I decided to see if any mobs would spawn. And to my disappointment, they do. Uh, I never saw any zombies or skeletons spawn, but I did see... Uh, spiders and creepers, so I assumed that all of them would spawn the same amounts. Uh, I ended up putting pump, uh, lights back in here, and that island has some jack-o'-lanterns, so no mobs are going to spawn out here, but, um, sadly, I mean, it's not a bad, it's not a big deal, I mean, I have, one of the cool things is that a uh, jack-o'-lantern doesn't look any different from a pumpkin when it's like this, so that's a great way to do some lighting. Um, by the way, if you're wondering why these guys are out here, they swam. They swam out, and I, I noticed that they were living on this island, and so I built them a house and lit it up, and that's, they've, I don't know if they've reproduced or if this is just more people that have swam out here and found this one house out in the middle of nowhere. I think, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, that's why they're out here, and they were a good experiment, and, uh, now I've got a pumpkin island. <laughs> So anyways, I'm going to get some, I think I'm going to work on the library a little bit more. I think I'm going to try to do some flooring, and I'm going to try to do it on camera. So I'm going to get some supplies, and I will meet you guys over there, and I will tell you about my convention experience while I'm there. One of the coolest things about being on the server, oh, that's neat, the sun is rising right between there. Huh. Yeah, one of the cool things about being on the vanilla server when nobody else is on is that I can sleep whenever I want. So, I've been thinking about, while I was at the convention, I've been thinking about this, fl ah, this flooring, and I, it, it kind of sucks, like, oops, the, the floor is not centered, I actually was thinking, like, see, the center of this, this little area here is, there's no centered, like, this is an even number, so I can't go to the middle of it, the middle is basically, like, two blocks like that and that frustrates me and so I was actually thinking oh do I really want to tear this whole thing down and push it out one block so that I can have a nice centerpiece because usually you want like one block in the middle to make like a nice floor pattern 
and then I realized that the reason that it's not like that is because the doors are together. And so if I pushed that wall out, or this whole side of the thing, I moved it out one, then this door would be here, and then there would be a, a pillar here. It's kind of like I have it up on the, you can't see it from here, but there's a, the lookout building has a door like that. And I don't really like the way that looks, so I'm just going to deal with it the way that it is right now. We're just going to have to find some sort of pattern that works with that kind of middle. You can... Um, ooh, this is... This is this is an, this is an awkward one. Let's let's do this one right here, because this one is nice and even all the way around. So there's two there and three on this side. So the center is these two blocks, right? Two, 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 two. Yep. So the center will be these two blocks. And I don't have to necessarily leave those like that. I mean, those don't have to be the same, but it'll probably look best if I try to, like, mirror it. And it might look nice. I've already laid out the furnaces. I really like designing with furnaces. I put some stuff in here. I don't really know what I want. Uh, I thought I had more dark wood. Oh, there it is. I I've used... <laughs> I had a lot of dark wood. A lot of dark wood. And, uh, as you can see, it's... I think we're down to just these 49. I think this is the last of my dark wood. Oh, and these these converted blocks. I've got jungle wood. I don't think I would... Well... I never used jungle wood. I don't like the way that it really looks. But maybe we can... Maybe we can do something with it. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> there! I'm done! Alright, see you guys next episode! No, but I'm gonna just play around with this while I talk. So... Oh, and I know my axe is about to break. God dang it. Well... Uh, Gallifrey 1, let's see, Doctor Who, are you guys familiar with what Doctor Who is? Doctor Who is a British television series, a TV show, that started in 1963. That was when the first one came out. Uh, it's sci-fi, kind of sci-fi fantasy, started out a little historical too, about this time-traveling tra alien who looks human, who basically, uh, he has a spaceship that's it looks like a telephone booth basically it's called a police box and he travels in that and uh he, he i wouldn't say he solves crime but like he stops alien invasions and things like that and it sounds really weird if you don't know what it is but it's really quite fun it's very british but has recently become much more popular uh, because in 2005, the series went off the air in the 80s, and then it came back in 2005 with a reboot, and has become increasingly more and more popular. And so I went to uh, Gallifrey 1. Gallifrey is the name of the planet that the alien, the na his name is the Doctor, he goes by the Doctor. The planet that he is from is called Gallifrey, and so that is the name of the convention. And it's the most, it's the largest convention for Doctor Who... I think in the world, but definitely in the United States. And so there was about 3,700 people there, which isn't that many compared to some other conventions, but still quite a few. I'm going to use pumpkins right now to simulate glowstone. Because I think what I would want is glowstone in the middle. Either that or, you know, I could use pumpkins, because I am a pumpkin guy. That might actually be nice. Why don't we turn these into jack-o'-lanterns and just see how they look. And look at that, I've got two torches already because I pulled them off the ground. All right. So anyway, the convention was a lot of fun. Um, I like the new series, but I am more of a classic fan, a fan of the original stuff more. And some of my favorite people were there. I really like the series from like the 60s. Nope, that's not going to work. So uh, I really like, oh, there goes the axe. Uh, the actor, Fraser Hines, he was really cool. He played Jamie McCrimmon, which is a Scottish companion from the Highland, from the 1750-something. Very cool. Uh, so he was there, and I've met him a couple times, and so we're like buddies. He's like 65 now or something, but still a totally awesome guy. Uh, but the main thing that I do is costume, costume play, costuming. I wear weird costumes, and people take pictures of me. So we dress up like the characters from the show. And then, you know, just have fun. And I am, I've been going to Gallifrey 1 since 2007. And my 
I've made a lot of costuming friends, and we have kind of become well known as costumers at this convention. So we put on like skits during the masquerade and put on like performances and stuff. And we also uh, do a lot of panels and stuff because they know us. And yeah, I don't like the light wood for sure. I don't have an axe anymore. Let's see if there's an axe in my ender chest. Please, axe. Dang it. All right, I'm going to go get an axe real quick. And I will meet you guys right back here. All right, I am back. I've got a new axe. And I also brought a bed. Just that this way I don't have to keep... There's no beds over here. All of these are like industrial houses. So I have to go so far to get to a bed. So I just thought I'd bring one. Anyway, I was talking about Doctor Who. Oh, I also got a few more supplies just while I was over there. I was talking about Doctor Who uh, and the, the co oops, cosplay panel that I did. I had a lot of fun. I did cosplaying the Doctor. I usually cosplay the second Doctor, who is also known as a Cosmic Hobo. He's a bit like one of the Three Stooges, if you guys remember who that is. And then I also cosplay Jamie, who is the companion. He wears a kilt, from, and he's from Scotland. Cosplay him quite a bit. And so I got to moderate the cosplaying companion panel. And then I also got put on a hair and makeup panel, which surprised me. I was not expecting to be on that. But it actually turned out to be quite a lot of fun. I felt like we were really useful in the things that we told people. Um, I'm going to try, like, just regular dark wood there. So, um, one of the things about cosplaying is a lot of people, especially men, are afraid of wearing makeup or, uh wigs or something and not every costume needs those things but a lot of them do and a lot of people don't use them and so we just wanted to be like the guy on the panel well there was actually two gentlemen on the panel me and gentlemen me and another guy who is a really good cosplayer i don't know if i like that let's see what it looks like with the full blocks and and it was just a lot of fun i felt like we really i don't know we're, it was a useful panel and then of course we put on this performance that we've been rehearsing forever that's not bad Let's try changing these corners. So that was a lot of fun. We It was about an hour-long performance, this comedy sketch. Uh, the guy that I've been on the podcast, I think I mentioned, he runs a, a cosplay panel, or a cosplay panel, a cosplay podcast, and I was on that a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I like that better. Still not loving the... You know what? We could try... So I was on that, and he wrote, like, ten skits or something, and we only ended up performing about five of them. See, that kind of makes it look like it's a center. I kind of like that. Hmm. Hmm. Let's keep playing around. Oh, by the way, this FTB server is having some weird issues right now. So if you see people logging on and off of there, that's Olmok trying to fix whatever's crashing the server. So I apologize for that. Ah, see, that's, that looks kind of cool. I don't like the fact that you dip down here. Hmm. But I really like the, the kind of pattern that it forms. It looks kind of neat, actually. What do you think? But it's going to suck if you're walking down here and you're like, derp, 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 derp. Oh, do you go down in the middle there, too? Derp, derp, derp. You do. You derp down each time. Derp, 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 derp. Yeah, I don't like that. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. But I like the fact that there's a center, but if it's like that, it's going to bug me. Ah! Hmm... Maybe one of you guys, I've had some cool user suggestions in the past of, like, things that I could do. Maybe one of you guys can tell me what you think. I'm going to put some pumpkins. I'm going to keep messing with it. But if you're curious, if you want to try to do your own design, and show it to me. Let's see. It's one, two, three, four, five, six this way. One, two, three, four, five that way. And then these pillars on the corners. So come up with a design for me. Let's try, let's try pumpkins. Oops, let's throw the pumpkins on the ground. That works as well. So I had a lot of fun. Did We performed the hour-long skit. I was in two of the skits, which was a lot of fun. This needs to go this way. Uh, it probably will be on uh, YouTube later on, and if it is, I may link you guys to it depending on the quality and how embarrassed I am of it. <laughs> if anybody's interested, I mean, it's Doctor Who, so you have to know what Doctor Who is to care. I don't like that either. But that was, that was a lot of fun. It's very stressful for some reason. Like, we're just, 
you know, you would think that it would be a lot of fun going to these conventions and just hanging out with your friends and, and seeing panels and stuff, but it ends up being very stressful. A lot of fun, definitely worth it, but stressful. You know, you don't eat, you don't sleep, you don't... All you do is rehearse and stress. <laughs> but it was fun. It was definitely worth it. It was just a little, a little intense. But speaking of conventions, I've mentioned it before and I'll mention it again. I will be going to PAX East at the end of of uh feb no not this is february the end of march and good and pause will be there so i hope to get to spend some time with them I, in fact i really hope that they let me hang out with them as i did at minecon because i'm gonna know even fewer people at pax east than i knew in paris to be honest so hopefully they're gonna be cool with hanging out with me again okay not liking this not liking this at all oops uh, but if you are going to PAX East, let me know. I don't know that I can promise that you can hang out with Good and Paws, but you can. I will definitely want to at least meet you and say hi and give you a a Vaughn Rider LP magnet or something of some sort. So definitely, let's make that happen. Didn't re meet anybody at this at the uh, Gallifrey who who knew my series, but that's okay. Although I did see a couple guys, some some kids, some boys wearing uh. Minecraft shirts and carrying around Minecraft swords. That was really neat. Uh, I wish I'd said something to them. Just I don't have time when I'm at that convention. It's just always running everywhere. Yep, exactly. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, let's see. I don't know that I'm going to make any headway on this floor because I don't... Oh, that's not bad. Yes, it is. I don't like this corner piece now. Um... But I did have a giveaway last episode to win Driver San Francisco. All you had to do was subscribe to me, if you weren't already, and comment with the name of your favorite author and or book. And I got eight whole entries, okay? Eight people. I have like a hundred people who watch my videos, so only eight of you decided to enter. Which, you know, maybe you already own Driver San Francisco or something. That's, that's getting there. But, uh... When there's only eight people, you have a really, really good chance of winning. And I picked someone. Well, I didn't pick someone. What I did is I took the names of everybody who entered, and I put them into a random number generator. And what that ha what I did after that is I assigned everybody a number and randomly picked one. I let the number generator pick one. And the person who won is somebody who has previously won from me before. So, this tells you how likely it is that you may win multiple times if you enter one of my contests. So, the winner, I'm pleased to announce, is Mr. Rush Assassin. He previously won, I think, my last contest. He won some magnets. The Minecraft logo magnet from uh, the ones that I made up from Minecon. I'm going to fall down here, though. I don't like that. So, congratulations, Mr. Rush Assassin. I will be contacting you after this video goes up some point to get your Steam name so I can get you this game. And thank you, as always, for reading, for reading, for watching my panel, my panels? Well, I'm, this is why I don't build on camera, because apparently my brain just falls apart. Thank you for watching my videos and always commenting and being awesome. Appreciate it a lot. I am up, by the way, to, uh... Over 1,500 subscribers, which is small fries compared to anybody who, you know, like Good or somebody, or Etho, but um, that's pretty crazy for me. I'm very pleased. I'm, it's a lot more than I thought I would ever have, although, you know, everybody dreams big. I don't, I don't know if that I like this panel, this pattern, but we're going to go with this for now. I don't fall down it anywhere, but like I said, if you guys have a better idea, definitely... Show me that. So I'm going to repeat this, I think, in these two, and we will see what it looks like after I've done that. Well, I've done it. It's not... I, I know I'm going to change it because I just don't like it. Uh, the beginning and the end are different shapes as well. This one kind of comes to a point. Uh, maybe they're the same. but uh, They're the same on either end, but it's this end piece is different. See, there's there's four this way and only three here. So I put this little pattern at the end, 
But I mess, I'm, I'm going to probably mess around with it. I don't hate it, but I don't like it. The pumpkins may change because I think I like them the least, to be honest. Which, which is funny considering how much I like pumpkins. And then I've still got to decide what to do about the rest of this flooring. I think... I brought, yeah, I brought a lot of furnaces over, and I think I'm going to probably line the whole, in, there's going to be a whole line of furnaces along the edges. I do like, I said, decorating with furnaces. So that's probably a simple thing that I can do. And I'm going to do some other stuff off camera. Uh, I got flower pots to put on. Uh, this whole side is done, but that side is missing flower pots. So I, I cooked up a bunch of clay so that I can do that. I'll probably do that off camera. You guys don't need to see me do that. Um, I'm trying to think about anything else to talk about with the convention. Just I had a lot of fun. People, you don't need to see pictures of me in costume. They're bad. <laughs> but I had a lot of fun. Always great to see my friends. I only get to see a lot of them at this convention. So like once a year and... Just a lot of fun. Expensive, but a lot of fun. And like I said, I'll be at PAX East, so be sure to let me know if you're going to be going to that, because I would like to meet you and say hello and give you some special Von Ryder magnet. And congratulations again to Mr. Rush Times Assassin for winning, once again, another one of my contests. And fear not, if you didn't win, uh, I'm going to give another one away, probably in a couple of episodes. I'm going to... I'm going to. I think what works best is if I start the contest and then... Don't give it away for a couple weeks. So we're going to start another contest. This one, uh, based on Doctor Who, I want you to tell me... You have to subscribe, and you have to tell me what your favorite movie... No, TV series. Favorite TV series. Doctor Who is a TV series. There is a movie, but we're going to go with TV series. Your favorite TV series doesn't have to be on the air now. It could be something that you enjoyed previously or as a kid or whatever. Your favorite TV series, and you can win. be entered to win a copy of... Mick Pixel, I think that's what it's called. MC Pixel, Mick Pixel. I don't know. It's a game. I have it in my gift library. If you want to win a copy of it, let me know your favorite TV series, and make sure you're subscribed to me because I will check to make sure you're subscribed. And I think that's it. Hopefully, this episode is ooh, that was weird. Is long enough to be considered a full episode. <laughs> if not, it's going to either be too long or too short. And I am glad to be back, and hopefully. Whoa. Oh, I clicked the furnace. Hopefully the uh, FTB server will be up because I would like to record another FTB series uh, episode soon. If not, that may be delayed and you will know why. Uh, thank you guys as always for watching. My name is Vaughn. I'll see you guys next time.